You're listening to the The Morning After podcast. Kyle, what did you do last night? Yesterday, mm -hmm. I watched first two episodes mm -hmm. of the new uh, documentary that came out on on the dynasty, the Empire of Football, mm -hmm. the Patriots. And you know, nothing gets my tea higher than uh, when you watching say tea. What do you what? mean? <laughs> when you say tea, what do you mean? Like my te my testosterone, my test. Oh. Yeah, my he team. watches Tom Brady and his testosterone goes through the yeah, roof. <laughs> through the roof. It, well, you know, it's that and then obviously doing sex things with right. funny, sex. smart, family oriented, uh, bilingual women. But um Family family oriented. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bilingual, yeah. which either. 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 Any, Either. Any, of them? <laughs> Any of them. Any language? Oh, okay. yeah. There's gotta be dos. Dos. Yeah, just two. What if she yeah. speak the racist one? Yeah, which one's that? The, no, we can't even talk about that. Oh, real Southern. What <laughs> oh. Does she speak oh. that West Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> we can always... As long as she's family oriented. We can be her. We can be her. She speak that deep South. Uh, no, I did that. It was super fun. Nice. I learned a lot of... You guys watch football at all? Just Super when Bowl. the Super Bowl come on. That's how I am. And I feel like less of a man because when I talk to guys about football, I'm always like, yeah, man, because... Remember when he, because uh, uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame, yeah, <laughs> you know, I was a quarterback. That's yeah. what the, you know, and I, I feel like less of a man because I don't know shit about. I football. think I know more about basketball than football. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I enjoy watching that more. But yeah. uh, football is the only reason why I paid attention this season mm -hmm. was because of the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift relationship. Oh yeah, because normally. They need to do that in basketball. Mm, they should they need have a power relationship. I think they try. With right? They try with like Kim Card, Kim Card, not her, but Kim and oh, yeah, Kim Chloe was, and Tristan. Chloe and Tristan. Chloe and Lamar. Uh, Tristan. Kim and Kim and Humphreys. Uh, Chris Humphreys. <laughs> yeah, Ben Simmons and like half half of Hollywood. Hollywood. It's work. <laughs> it's work to keep up with it, though. It is like an, an investment of a lot of time. Oh yeah. So you have you, to you, love you, it. You, you, you ever date any athletes at all? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that difficult because they're always gone? Um, or no? Are you like, please buy my? No, I was like partying and stuff. <laughs> oh, too, yeah. So like yeah. I was always gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you going? I'm going too. <laughs> I think I may have dated a, a soccer a soccer athlete before. Maybe? What, what do you mean maybe? Well, I was in high school. She never, she never made pro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, we are here with two of the greatest entertainers of our generation. Wow, wow Lamar Morris and Kyle Turner. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, so some Honor. respect on our name. Yeah. We're also here, <laughs> the Morris <laughs> King Batch. No, wow. I, I really, I really mean that. I really mean that. I, I've been an entertainer for a very long time, and and when we met Batch back in 2012, I want to say, I there slid was, in your DMs. He slid in my DMs, and there was no self-generating. Um, entertainer really like that you had to go do stand-up you had to go tour you had to really you know and, and if you were trying to be creative on camera you had to there's so much red tape and so many middle people that you had to go go to the great thing about what you two have accomplished is that you do everything mm -hmm. you, you literally you know from where you started built yourself up content creating now, and then movies, and then all the rest of the stuff that you guys do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Cerny, King Batch. I'm here, uh, as always, with uh, my lovely co-host, Kyle the Legend Chevron. Uh, welcome yeah. to the show, you two. Thank you. Welcome. Damn, this is a good, a good little hey. intro, okay? And we're done. <laughs> uh, and that's Great show. Uh, no, so one, one, one thing that I find interesting uh, uh, about you two is that what people don't know, obviously on your own, you are your own entities. Y'all are best friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. Y'all are that best friends. This doesn't make any sense to me. And Why? He, he, you're both too good looking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I do, <laughs> Great show. Yeah, I love keep complimenting show. us. Can I put my feet here? <laughs> no, nigga, get uh, your okay. feet off my motherfucker. <laughs> All right. I'm hiding my feet. I'm barefoot. There's a hole in your sock, batch. Was yeah. it really? Just kidding. Uh, gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, you try to take <laughs> down oh, my yeah, network. So <laughs> um, got him. How did you two meet, and how did this friendship start? Jimmy Tatro. Oh, Jimmy Tatro. Oh, wow. You remember? I know Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. he's blowing up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I used to shoot a lot of videos with Jimmy. Back in the day, because uh, he had like the whole frat boy YouTube thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
And then he texts me one day about a man who wanted to meet up. So I don't even know that side of the story. Yeah. You would have to probably tell that side. So I was starting to wanting to do more acting. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, all right, well, it's hard for me to get in rooms. Like I need to build a reel for myself. So Jimmy, like any YouTube videos that you're doing, like put me in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, yeah, for sure. Hey, <laughs> my friend Batch. <laughs> all he said, he passed me off to Batch. Wait, what? Hey, it was no. a pawn off. <laughs> He um he was I got the recyclables. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he was telling me about this um because he was like you should start creating your own content too. I was like yeah, but I don't know how to produce and edit and yeah. do all those things. Like I'm I'm new, and then um and I was doing like these short little videos um on Vine and I knew of Vine, and then he's like, well, Batch is killing it on Vine. You should meet up with him too, mm -hmm. um and you guys could collaborate. And he's just always collaborating with people. And then that's how he connected us together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we met at the W Hotel in the lobby. And then that's when we discovered we had the same birthday. Oh. And then we were like, uh, what? what? May yeah. 19th. May 19th. May 19th. What? No. what is that? What is that? Exactly <laughs> June 26th. June 26th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, such a good friend. <laughs> uh, May 19th. I want to know. I've never been to a birthday party of yours. Oh. So. Yeah, you have? I Once. And I, I, I got to tell You've that. You've been to Jamaica? Yeah, I've been to Jamaica. I went to one birthday. No, I went to a birthday party at your building, but it wasn't for your birthday. Never mind. You invited me. Wow. That's it. Did you, besides that, you never invite me to birthday parties. Yeah, and me neither. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> next, this year, you guys can come. Not interested. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, one year we went to the Maldives. That was cool. Wait, 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 oh, wait. One year we, we, we went to Oh, so we showed him pictures? Wait, that one. Fuck one year we, <laughs> it's not like a big party, but <laughs> yeah, it's just, Oh, look at the Maldives, my boy. It, oh, those wait, you so to so you guys do it because you do a lot of traveling together. There's a mm -hmm. lot of times where if I FaceTime batch, you get look look at where we look at where we at. That's wild to Dude, me. yeah. I've seen I, I follow like on social media, but I've seen you guys like in Dubai, France, Look. first class to uh, your camera's one of these. What, what, are these? Are, what are you wearing? Yeah. What is Are that? you wearing a dress? That's what you gave me. That ain't no dress. Oh, you oh, trying no. to wear a dress? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a dress. What, what are you that wearing called? a dress? Harvey that Weinstein is, tried to uh, suck my penis in the Maldives. This ain't a dress. <laughs> it's a <laughs> gown. He borrowed it from my manager. It's she, a gown. She let him wear it. She let you wear the yeah. gown? <laughs> this ain't a dress. It's like a religious thing, right? Uh, cultural. cultural you still, do you still wear the robe a lot, Batch? I knew you used to wear yeah, the yeah, robe yeah. a lot. Oh, what's, yeah. the, what's the story behind the robe? Is it you just... I just like being you comfortable. You don't get dressed in the morning or... <laughs> Damn, is this a roast? <laughs> no. <laughs> no it's, it's, it's turning. It's, I think they're upset about the birthday. It sounded personal. Uh, uh, yeah. It's just a what's it like being okay. two pieces of shit? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. Look at my uh, dreams, huh? No, I just like being comfortable. Um... I often wear hoodies a lot when I go out. Um, Sometimes just socks. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were in yeah. Vegas, and then I um, was meeting up to get his house key, and then he was just walking through the casino in his socks. Yeah. So what? He sometimes yeah, he some white that. people shit. Can I? Can I get oh, mine on? No. <laughs> if they can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> we do that? Huh? We do that? Yeah. You might want to get checked white people after that, with dude. their feet out oh. all the time. I guess I am barefoot. Right? Look no. at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be walking. I'll be going to the mall, and then sometimes uh, I'll see just a, you know, it'll be late at night. Maybe not the mall. Maybe like after a club. You be walking, you see a girl just barefoot, and you see the bottom of that black foot. Mm. Yeah, no. Let me Ooh, the foot is white, it's called, but it's it be grounding. black. That ain't it, grounding. Let me tell you something. You ground in a park. You ground in a backyard. <laughs> if I see you walking through any public place that is not a park, you ain't grounding. You are you on drugs. <laughs> you are on drugs. You ever see somebody walking and walking on Fairfax with no shoes on? Yeah, actually, uh -uh. drugs. Yeah. Drugs. Yes. I don't think I would even do it at the parks. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we saw yeah. needles. Yeah. You know what they used to do? And uh, we were filming. We were filming in Vancouver, right? And there's this one street in Vancouver. Vancouver is beautiful, right? Beautiful city, very right. clean. This one street called East Hastings is so long. But it's like 28 days later. It's just a bunch of zombies walking around the street like this. Everyone's on drugs, right? Oh, yeah. And when we were filming over there one time, there's the little wooden electric posts or whatever. They were like, don't lean on them. Because that's where they jam the needles in and break them off of the, the thing before they dispose of it. So 
all, the thing was littered with mm-hmm. like drug needles mm-hmm. Damn, everywhere. You could have got addicted that day. I could have. Because <laughs> what if it was a little bit of crack on the tip? Yeah. You would have never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I think in Vancouver, I'm not sure how it is now, uh, but a couple years ago, they have these programs where if you are an addict, you can go there to get a fix so you don't oh, like wow. die oh, yeah. from the relapse. Yeah, I've seen those like little shops that you can go in, and then like they have a, a, a nurse give you drugs. Damn, a little bit of that her. Mm. That's crazy to me. What you thinking? You thinking businessman? <laughs> you thinking business right now? <laughs> <laughs> he said, mm. 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 "Sounds good." Yeah, <laughs> it's like there's something in this. There's money to be <laughs> there's made. There's a market for that here. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. So we know what we know about your your upbringing, how you and how you met Batch. Mm-hmm. Batch. How did you? start in creation you know i remember when we spoke the Mm -hmm. first time uh because it was right out of the gate you were very uh dominant with it like like come on don't say that now they're gonna think i'm an industry plant you what nigga you know come from from toronto to jamaica to florida over here with a deal yeah that's a with a deal sus path what what man you know come over here with thirty thousand million followers just like that i know an industry plant when i see one i'll wait (laughs) i don't think we understand the meaning of these words (laughs) and creation you mean him starting to create content not his parents creating him. Yeah, I don't want to okay. know about the. Oh, yeah. Oh. We don't need to know about Damn. that. Damn. Um, no, I started doing uh, stand up first because that's what they say. You got to do stand up, and then mm. you get discovered. You get a sitcom, and then blah 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 blah. And then um, uh, while I was starting to do the stand up, YouTube was starting to be a thing, mm-hmm. right? So I started making YouTube videos, and. Uh, and it was just so it was so much money to like do because you saw yeah. you were you in you was in the, the, the yeah. Django. I was in there with you. I spent yeah. I spent money on that. I know. I showed up to this. First of all, I had been asked to do a lot of people's videos, and I'd done a lot of videos. I'd made a lot of my own. The most I'd spend twelve hundred dollars. Mm. I show up to Batches set. This nigga got departments. Yeah. <laughs> got people with their own offices. Setting up horses. There was a. I remember there being a wardrobe department with like. Yeah. Uh, an, an array of of, of options. And I was like, you show up to one of my shoots, you better you gonna shoot what you what you showed up in. Well, you you went to you were in film school. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to film school, so I learned a lot uh, there. Um, so I was doing the YouTube, and then Vine came out, and then you could just shoot that on your phone. And I was yeah. like, I could do this for free. Yeah. So I started doing the Vine videos, and then that blew up, and then uh, yeah. Number one on Vine. Yeah, number, number one on Vine. Vine. Still number one on Vine? Yeah, they deleted the app. Yep. I mean, so I'm him. Why do I have a feeling like right before the app was deleted, there was this young white kid who came and surpassed you? What if they did? I, I, I remember it being, I just, for some reason in my mind, because I remember you had stopped doing it. Yeah. And then there was a generation right after you that Nash was doing Greer. it. it was, was it Nash? Yeah, it was Nash. I think Nash had the most yeah, followers at one right, point. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Hmm. Brittany did too, Furlon. She did? Oh yeah, but she, she was like, like five hundred thousand. She was it was she was like right when Vine started. Oh, mm. okay. yeah. got it. Did you send him a like um, a threatening letter at all, saying, "Listen, little nigga." <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> I think Nat, Nash was like number one for a while. Wait, wasn't mm. Cameron Dallas? No, it was Nash. Cameron okay. Dallas Cameron sounds Dallas like a was porn up there, star name. <laughs> Nash, I've Nash that had guy. that number yeah. one spot, and then like he came up to me and he's like, "Yo, I know you're gonna pass me one day." I was like, what you talking about? I am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was Nash Greer for a while. Okay. And then um, and then me, and then I passed him by a couple million, and then Lele Pons passed him, I think. So mm-hmm. then I think it was me, then Lele, then Nash. Wow. You still keep in touch like with 10. You were number, number 10? I might have been number one million. You were there? I was one million. <laughs> was we number- made a lot of vines together. We made a lot of vines together. I showed up. I was filming New Girl, but I would just kind of show up. And Kyle Kyle made a lot with us, too. Mm-hmm. We would just kind of like pop up and just like jump in videos and then leave. And yeah. you sometimes you'd be like, you want to make some videos, too? I'm like, nah, nigga. This- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll make, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll make some. But for me, it was one of the, it was just such an interesting um dynamic because the way i came up was like yes please can i have a job sir please sir can i have a job i'll I'll tap dance and audition to possibly get this role and you guys were just like oh man make your own shit yeah and we're making more money than you guys on tv (laughs) i was like damn this is crazy to me yeah it was an interesting time 
So there is a part of our show where we we poll the fans, and we love polling the fans. Um, uh, but we, when we poll them, it's specific to the guests that we have on the show. So we went on uh, Twitter, we mm-hmm. went on um, Instagram, we went everywhere, and we asked the we asked the fans to send us questions specifically for you two. And we have a list of these questions, um, kind of rapid fire, but they tend to you know spark other conversation so would you would you all like to play let's do it kyle okay damn why is that okay are you having fun this is deep this is deep this one's deep (laughs) if you could make one food disappear so that no one could ever eat it again what are you choosing vegan food meat vegan wait hold hold on hold on (laughs) (laughs) y'all best friends (laughs) she vegan he so, eats a lot of meat. I love oh, meat. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he's got here? <laughs> hey. All the meat. It was an Amos Lee plant. I sucked a lot of meat to get here. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> um, wait, so vegan, vegan food you no, would I was get just rid of? If I could get rid of one food. One food, only mm-hmm. one. Ooh, it hurts to be vegan. Yeah, right? Um, mayonnaise. Ma- Oof. Oh, yeah. He's like scared of mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise is disgusting. Is that a food? Isn't that like a condiment? It's, it's a food. It's a food. It's I got love, egg in it. Yeah. I love vegan mayonnaise. Ugh. Vegan, what's in vegan mayonnaise? Uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's just toothpaste? Uh, actually, I probably can't eat it. Why? Because um, it has soy in it, and I'm allergic to soy now. Oh, damn. No. Now. No mayonnaise for you. Well, I've like always kind of been. And mm. then we went, we did like sprints at the track and I mm. was eating soy before and just like my throat gets a little bit itchy, mm-hmm. like nothing crazy. And then after the sprints, my eyes started swelling up and then like. It was bad. I was like, I feel like weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Allergic just, to running or working out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, uh, for real. Too. It's a thing. Yeah. You can be allergic to working out. Exercise, you, really? Yeah, mm-hmm. exercise induced anaphylaxis. That should have been my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was the soy mixed with the sprints. With the sprints. Yeah. Do you remember the scene in Undercover Brother where he yes. gets offered That's the mayonnaise why I don't sandwich? Like mayonnaise. It was from why? The movie. Okay. It's, it's because of the movie. Yeah. You know what? The movie just reinforced my uh, hate of mayonnaise. Really? Yeah. I saw the movie and I was like, "See, that's what I'm saying. Niggas don't like mayonnaise." Is that yeah? Is, Mayonnaise not like a staple in black homes growing up. I mean, it is. I mean, they got it in potato salad. Yeah, yeah. but I hate potato. So salad just alone, I don't mayonnaise. eat potato salad. Huh? Yeah. So just mayonnaise alone, like you won't eat a spoonful no, of mayonnaise. I won't have mayonnaise. if you got mayonnaise in in that in that uh crispy tuna, that uh crispy rice spicy tuna. I ain't eating it, my boy. Really? Aioli, he doesn't touch it. You don't. T- oh, I love man. I love a garlic aioli. Oh, is that Ooh. how you say it? aioli? Yeah. Oh, not aioli. I only love my. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Is it aioli or aioli? Just spell it out. Aioli? For us. You think they're going to go with aioli? <laughs> That's what she said. Aioli. That's what she said. A I I. We're trying to figure out what we're going to eat after this. Uh oh. Uh, Hopefully, we said not we mayonnaise. Have this conversation, though, because oh, you guys yeah, yeah. would lose you, all of But the... they brought it up. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who is the most famous person in your phone? Oh, this is a good one. I feel like that's a good one. Yeah, Ooh. I know you guys know. You probably know Bill Gates. Oh, famous? Like, what is what? Is, what quantifies fame? Like, is it followers or is it like, if you say this person's name to this person, they gonna know? Right, right. I, 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 who, I wonder who mine is. But you got you. You all go first. King Batch. He's the most famous. <laughs> per- no, really? I yeah, think, well, you well. I, mean, I think. Um, no, you know way more famous people. <laughs> 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 um, I would say Will Smith. Everybody knows who Will Smith is. You got Will Smith number? Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay, Batch. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he's a legend. He's an icon. He is, he is the legend. I am legend. Yeah. My <laughs> God. You know what I used to do? I used to take numbers of people who I didn't uh, like care to talk to anymore and change their name to like... Tom Cruise, <laughs> in my phone, Wait, <laughs> just just Tom Cruise, um, or or in because if my if somebody saw my phone ring <laughs> and it said Tom Cruise and I was just like nah, <laughs> 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 it 
There's a there's a great Don Rickles. Uh, you guys know Don Rickles? <laughs> yeah. I can't get over this Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> there's a great Don Rickles story, real quick, where he was on a date mm-hmm. and he was good friends with Frank Sinatra, and Frank Sinatra was at the restaurant that he was at. So he excused himself from the date, went up to Frank and said, "Hey, Frank, in like five minutes, would you mind just coming to the table, say hello?" It'll make me look cool in front of the girl because Frank's probably the most famous person on the planet at the time. Mm-hmm. Frank was like, Don, anything for you. So he's like, great. Five minutes later, uh, Frank shows up at Don Rickles' table and he's like, hey, Don, so good to see you here. Hope you're having a great night. He cuts him off and goes, Frank, I thought I told you I'm busy. Don't interrupt me while I'm eating. In front of the chick and Frank went, Oh, so sorry, Don. And walked off. And like walked off. I was like, damn, that's good. What? That's the yeah, ultimate wingman right there. Damn. My friends don't do that for me. <laughs> My friends, they see me talking to a pretty girl. They walk in and take their shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about you, Glenn Powell. Sorry. Anyway. He's done that for real? <laughs> what? No, he hasn't. What? My 40th birthday, we were in Greece, right? And we're on this boat. And I had this fascination with... I want to be on a boat and I want to fall in love. I want to find my wife on this boat. And then we could just sit out there and look at the water like this while we sip champagne. I hate champagne, but something else. And there was a love. Hmm? You were on a boat? Yeah. Like a private boat? Yeah. And you wanted to find somebody on the boat? No, no, I, I invited a bunch of. Oh, okay. Yeah, I left that oh, you, part out. Oh. You invited a bunch, so you're not <laughs> looking for love. <laughs> no, no, because you yeah, options. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to invite one and then she's just not. The one. She right. Get well, what, what, if, yeah. what if you did invite the one and then she saw the other ones and then she's like, I don't want to be the one a part yeah, of this, this one. Yeah, this deters me. It, either way, it didn't work out for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, regardless, it, you know, you know, I got to shoot my shot somehow. It's a little Delulu <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> yeah. I just, you know. <laughs> Wait, so you invited, you invited a girl with a bunch of girls and Glenn? <laughs> it, yes. <laughs> Well, it was it was it was a it was a, it was a lot of people on the boat. Okay, it was okay. a lot of a lot of everybody. I knew everybody there mm-hmm. except for some of these these women. Okay. And um, Glenn, this Glenn was training for Men's Health at the time. Damn. So that body wasn't <laughs> photoshopped. He looked photoshopped. You know. And uh, rock hard. Rock, but I you mean, prepared a little for the boat. He. What you say? You prepared he, at the time. For the boat, I got. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. No, you didn't prepare for the boat. <laughs> no, he had, I prepared now. I got my. I got my six pack now. We've seen you on Instagram. He had the. Yeah. He had the one pack. Yeah. Ab it was on the boat. Spherical yeah. Yeah. ab. Okay. <laughs> you ever. You ever like take your backpack and then you put it on the front of your body. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what. That's that's how I was shaped. Damn. Okay. The sleeping pack app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Glenn, um, Glenn's one of my best friends, so I give him a hard time about it. But he couldn't control himself in this moment. We're on a boat. Glenn is like, "I'm taking my shirt off." To be fair, Kyle also did, who's also in shape. But Kyle was kinder about it. I don't he was what? Kinder about it. Right. All right. Kyle. Kyle was like hanging out with the homies. Glenn was like, "Tarps off." Where are the ladies at? <laughs> Glenn just showed up, <laughs> took his shirt off, and it turned into a... At one point, he jumps in the water, and there's a trail of women behind him. You have swimming to justify to the, the taking off the shirt. If you don't jump in the water, then... Yeah, that's yeah. true. Then your shirt's just off. But here's the thing. He goes and swims to this little cove, and it's Glenn on this cove with like 10 girls oh. all surrounded, and everybody else is on the boat looking, going, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> Then we all go over there, and then at one point, you know, we're about to leave. We all get on the boat. There's a man hiking, right, the big backpack on, and this man falls down the mountain. Let me tell you what Glenn he does. He falls down the mountain? Yes, and he falls. He yeah, fell. Like, fell, like down a cliff. Glenn sees this, and you know what this motherfucker does? So he, he saves him. He jumps back in the water like David Hasselhoff <laughs> from Baywatch and swims and saves this man. Such a nice guy. See what I'm saying? Such a nice guy. Do you see what I'm saying? That was the reaction. He's winning. He's <laughs> not even here. He's, he's winning. Like, wow. uh, it, oh, true. He's, he's a true, he's an actual hero. And that's why I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because when he jumped in the water the first time and you said there was like a trail of girls... <laughs> It was like, you know when a mama duck has like all the baby ducks behind yeah. her swim across the pond? Literally, that was that's what it was. That's what exactly what it looked like. Damn. Yeah, it was embarrassing for me. That's the reason why I got in shape. And those were all mm-hmm. the girls you brought? Yes. Whew. And then like 
for Glenn. Friends of mine that also joined the party. And I was like, y'all ain't shit. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> doing this to me? <laughs> you can't do this to me. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, is, is it my turn? Or your yeah, turn? yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Another fan uh, writes in, if we were all trapped in a horror movie, who would be the first to die? Me. You think so? Whoa, that's bold of you to say yourself. Why? Yeah, because I'm taking risks, my boy. And I don't want to be there in the first place. <laughs> well, all of us? <laughs> yeah, all us four. Us uh, four. Yeah, I'm going to be like, you know what? We all going to die. Let me just get it over. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to live this horror story. Yeah. Y'all going to get scared? Boo. Ooh, no, not me. <laughs> I think you would be the survivor. Me? Mm. Yeah. Why? Because you would just find ways out of it. and then To make just... other people go first? <laughs> I'm probably the slowest, so... Ooh. I'd be the first to go. You and think you so? wouldn't stop. You would just keep. You would go. Nah, y'all two would be the the last to live. So, so you, you would live. I would die. You would live. You would. You would <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm strategic with mine. I'm strategic. Yeah, I yeah. know. You do, that's the one that died first in the movie. <laughs> no, yeah. the one that you're they dead. No. Yeah. The yeah, you're no. dead. No, because I know exactly where I'm at. Where? Right behind. Right behind people. <laughs> right behind people <laughs> everywhere you go you know how in movies they go Man, you go check around the corner I'm gonna go alright cool go check around the corner you gonna walk five paces and realize that I'm right behind you but what about this what what if you going against her right what mm -hmm. if you right behind her but she the main character and she walked through she stepped on the trap mm -hmm. but she trips mm -hmm. and then the arrow comes there's oh. a trap and an arrow that's what the trap that's is where... so there's a bear trap and then there's... no like the trap movies. the trap that Oh. That ignites the arrow to oh, the like, bear trap. Um, oh, the Indiana Jones. Yeah, Indiana yeah, yeah. Jones. Yeah. What in the Home Alone is happening here? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up booby traps and shit. <laughs> um, so no. yes, I, 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 but I, I already know. I already know. I'm I'd really survive. throwing myself under the bus here. I need to stand up for myself yeah. more. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel, yeah. I'm gonna survive. There you go. Thank you. I'm a Batch survivor. is gonna die. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Bro. <laughs> Canadians are too nice. Hey, fella. <laughs> What's that axe for? You want me to help you chop some wood? Yeah. Yeah, be, oh, you're right saying here. if a Canadian... Oh, he's Canadian. You're Canadian, yeah. yeah. You gone, I forgot bro. about that. You gone, bro. Oh, you sorry, think so? Sorry there, Batch. Oh, yeah. You're a Canadian there for a second, eh? <laughs> That's good. That sounded Minnesotan. Yeah, mm. sorry there, Batch. Do you have to live there for a certain period of time, though, to get that nice gene? Like the... The nice gene? Yeah. yeah. No, I think there's nice people in America. You nice. Thank you. Well, that, that turned what? on me. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Chicago. I'm very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Where Is are you from? Uh, I'm from New Jersey. Oh, okay. Livingston, New Jersey. Yeah. Home of the... Braves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you what? fully American. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you're, you're, and you're from... Um, Pittsburgh? Why'd you... What? Why'd you get so confused? Because if you're, like, I was just born there. Okay. And then Connecticut and Massachusetts, New York, and then Florida. Oh, so you moved so around a lot. like, confusing. Moved around yeah. a lot. Army brat? Or just, um, no. Pharmaceutical sales. Okay, same Drugs. thing. Same thing. Yeah. Traveling, Drugs. traveling work. Drugs. Drugs. Oh, we can open up the... Big pharma. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Your question. Yeah, my question Actually, here is kind of insurance sales. Sorry, it wasn't pharmaceutical. I'm I, was just getting, this whole I, I, podcast. I forget what my dad does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was in pharmaceutical sales. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. different yeah. kind. Different yeah. kind. To think I'm big pharma. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was a uh, drug dealer. My father was a drug dealer. God rest his soul. No more. No more drugs. Um, sorry to bring the mood down. They got him. Guys. Huh? They, they got him. They called, locked him up. Deported him. Deported him. Belize. Belize. Oh. Yeah, let me guess. You guys have been to Belize together. I've never been to Belize. What? Oh, maybe this birthday? Yeah. Belize. Go Belize. Shit. May 19th. Say hi to your dad for you. Uh, oh, he passed away in June. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. You go to his grave and say and say bye for me. I got to go back. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Damn. I'm just saying. I got to go back and visit too. You can come on this birthday trip. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. You just so genuinely said like, it was so genuine too the way you said You're like, oh, I'll say hi to your dad for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I don't think you can do that one. <laughs> Uh, His spirit lives on. Yeah, uh, I got a question. This yeah. is kind of off this one. If if you had to get stuck in a movie like a Last Action Hero style, I don't know if you ever seen that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where the kid gets sucked into a movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, movie that? what movie are you picking? That that one's called Last Action Hero. You go first. So wait, what what was the question? 
If you were to get <laughs> like stuck into a movie, what movie would uh, you like to get put into? An action movie? No, any movie? any movie. Oh. Oh. Eat, pray, love. <laughs> no. Elf. Elf? Elf. Mm, that's a good one. That's New a good York, one. Santa. Yeah. Here's why, if I was sucked into Elf, here's why I'd be confused. <laughs> There's this big ass six foot four dude claiming that he's an elf, mm. and I gotta just go along with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I would, I, I would be out of my mind if I didn't call the authorities on this man running around in pajamas all day. True, but also such an awesome friend, so positive. Yeah, that's true. Always like having fun, yeah. trying new things. Mm-hmm. A lot of dessert. A lot, of, a lot of treats. Yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot of, of treats. snacks. Yeah. What about you, Batch? Put me in Space Jam. Oh, oh. that's good. Wait, do you want to be a, a, a Monstar? Or do you want to be, you know... Oh, team we talking one? about the original or the, or the sequel? They the, made a the, sequel? The original. the original. They made a sequel. What? Aren't you a LeBron fan? I didn't know they made a sequel. Shut up. I'll oh. kill you. I will kill you <laughs> where you stand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, put put me in... I want to be Michael Jordan in the in the original joint. Ah, Dang, okay. So you want to be MJ in there? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Space Jam, growing up, was one of my favorite. Uh, it might be my favorite basketball movie. Maybe, mm. maybe. What about like Mike, that was no. a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Airbud. Air, Air Bud. Oh, I, I definitely Air Bud. rock with Airbud. I love Flubber too. Remember that one? Oh, yeah, that's Robin. Good. Damn. Okay. Remember the six cents? The six cents? Six man. The six, six man. man. Yeah. Don't want to be the six cents. Oh, yeah. yeah say, six <laughs> what movie would you? Is that your movie? Six cents? No, the movie I would I would be. Um, you put me in Blazing Saddles, probably, mm. or uh, yeah, I, Blazing Saddles, is an old movie, an old Mel Brooks movie about a, a black sheriff in this small white racist town. That's where you want to be. Yeah, I want to go there because I want to <laughs> fuck with old people. Oh. <laughs> if you watch that movie, it's one of the most irreverent, funny... You want to be in Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask you guys a question. Which decade had the best slang? Oh, the, this decade right now is too confusing. Yeah. No cat mm-hmm. <laughs> standing on business <laughs> Blizzy. straight like that type shit. <laughs> Finna? Finna? What'd you say? Finna? 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 Yeah, what was it? Best slang. I guess when we used it. What? What? I mean, but what decade? What, is that the nineties? Nineties. The nineties is the best thing. Nineties L.A. Well, nineties L.A. I used to watch a lot of uh, like Boys in the Hood and movies like that, and it was always like, "Yo, Mark ass Buster," and nobody know what a Mark ass Buster is. <laughs> I didn't know. know. That. <laughs> I know what it is now, but I didn't back then. I didn't know. My favorite would be the the seventies. When you used to say stuff like "drive turkey," yeah, yeah. you sucker. When you would call somebody a sucker and that meant something, <laughs> yeah, that. Was, yeah. <laughs> hey, you better watch it, sucker. Like, Ooh, Dude, call not, me a sucker. Yeah. This mofo mean business. <laughs> <laughs> mofo. Hey, that's that's my favorite. Probably the seventies. Sucker cuts deep. I don't know why. You just like feel it in your chest yeah. when someone says that to you. Yeah. Even yeah. now, if someone said it to me, I'm like, "Wait, what?" Well, first of all, how old yeah. are you, sir? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Sucker. 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 Because you can still say it now. You can still say it now. I beat your ass, sucker. Yeah. Then I wouldn't take you seriously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if somebody said that, I'd be like, uh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, so another fan. Oh, you, you have one? No, go ahead. Another fan has asked, how many people, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to ask this one. How many people are you good enough friends with? That will help you move. Move? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm really good friends with the moving company. Yeah. <laughs> so you're one of those. You don't want to put your you don't want to get your friends involved because it's nah. just too much of a task. I'm like that too. What, what are they gonna do? Help you box shit up. Oh, I don't even want to box shit up. But that's why you got your friends. No, you got the company. Yeah. That's true. And they're, they're I think at a certain age, though, like when you're younger, you can ask everybody because mm-hmm. they can all do it. But then when you're in like your 30s or mm-hmm. then it's just weird. Then you're just too busy. Mm-hmm. You can pull muscle. You know what this sounds like? Mm. Rich people things. Well, yeah, if you work hard and you're in your 30s, you should be able to. 
No, no, this sounds like rich people things. Really? Yeah, I got I I because I'm the, the moving company is hundred and fifty dollars. What moving company you use? <laughs> when I'm Home okay. Depot, you, you lose half your you stuff. You go to Home Depot. But... Home Depot. <laughs> you go to Home Depot. <laughs> That's not a moving company. Yeah, <laughs> you, ask, you met. Yeah. yeah, you just asked them. They're trying to work. They'll do whatever you want for an hour, but if whoa, you pay them, whoa, whoa, anything, whoa, whoa, yeah. Which Home Depot we talking? About? You know, in the in the <laughs> Denzel Sienica? in Give the Denzel skit, nigga. I hired uh, people out there to act. Really? Yeah, they'll do whatever you want if you pay them. <laughs> Sounds so bad. It does. How does that sound bad? It's He's like, an actor. They they'll act. Yeah. They'll they'll move stuff. They'll lift stuff. The hardest workers. I can get them to fight somebody Down if I want to wanted. do anything. Whoa. <laughs> Let me like reposition this. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So yeah. You know, I, I, are you that way? Because I would. I used to ask my friends a lot to help me move, and they hated me. Really? Because I didn't. I didn't organize shit. They mm. would show up to my house, and it was just the way it was, like yeah. a month ago. Just the way it is. You know? I think. I think helping unboxing things, like moving big pieces of furniture, no, but mm -hmm. then like dishes in the kitchen and stuff. Like my mm -hmm. mom helped me do that when I when I moved. Oh, that's right. That's right. That makes sense. It's like organizing. I think that's mm -hmm. fine. Hmm. How many people do we know though? Yeah, I'm saying, do you have a group? Let, let's say well, you let's say you wanted to do it. Do you yeah. have a group of people that you think you could call and they'd say, "Yeah, we we we're down." How long? How long would the the how long would the packing be? How many hours? Eight hours. Eight <laughs> hours. I don't know. Hey, how That's many a long time. From Home Depot, are you renting? I don't know. <laughs> renting? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm renting. I'm paying them for work. I would do it if I'm a, if I'm at the Home Depot line. Someone say, "Hey, um, a hundred dollars an hour for work." Yeah. yeah, I'm doing it. So you paid a hundred an hour. Not me. Yeah, I'm just saying, if someone came up, it was like a hundred an hour. That's usually how you much it is. You have your wallet on you? Can we? I want to. Can we? Venmo <laughs> <laughs> me? Um, no, but like when I when I needed the actor for the uh, mm -hmm. for the Denzel skit. Yeah. Let me pull up the video. Let me show you. And he, he was good quality. You're talking about the skit where you guys all wait. Which no, it's a different like? one. Look. Oh, you did the flight flight Denzel. No fences. Oh, fences. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um. <laughs> you had dudes from Home Depot building fences in the yeah, background? Yeah, he, he built the fence, and then he acted in it. <laughs> no, he didn't build the fence. <laughs> I feel like I have a good group of friends that will, one, question me why I'm not hiring a moving company, but then after they got through with a series of questions of like, why not? Why haven't you paid somebody to do this? Then they would show up. Um, hmm. Then then I, I, think every, I, think, I think you guys would show up. Sorry. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think everybody <laughs> can be guilt tripped into helping somebody. I think so. <laughs> Was that your video? Yeah. All right. Well, you, can send, you can send us oh, a clip. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I can see him. You can send us a clip. I can see the Home Depot guys. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's like my sixth wife used to always say: some people build fences to keep people out, and some people build fences to keep people in. I build fences because they pay me. You pay me now or you pay me later? <laughs> that was, wait, 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 hold on. I guess that you had rented a dude from Home Depot to build you a fence. That's literally what you just showed me. <laughs> I didn't rent it. Oh I God. paid that man for hard work. How you much did you pay him? They make help me pay me to build a fence. <laughs> yeah, he's building a fence. Is that the easiest hundred dollars you've ever made in your life? Did, did he actually build the fence? No. Oh. <laughs> No, no, no. Prop team built the fence. Prop team. But, um, Where'd you find the prop team? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Lowe's. <laughs> he's like, no. Lowe's. It's different. He did great, though. Yeah, he was good. That's the easiest money he's he probably ever funny. made. Yeah, he was good. Oh, oh, my God. Kyle, do you yeah. Kyle, do you have <laughs> another oh. question? Yeah. God. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, wait. I didn't rent that man. <laughs> See, I paid him. <laughs> he said <a> rent. <laughs> what? I know he's setting you up. Uh, I got a question for you guys. Have you have have either of you met anyone in Hollywood that's kind of left you starstruck? Before? Mario Lopez. Mario really? Lopez. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because he's just handsome. Or no, I think star. I think starstruckness mm -hmm. happens when uh, you don't expect someone to be somewhere. Mm -hmm. So like. If like, uh, say you watch New Girl, mm -hmm. right? Or Fargo. Which, Hello. Mi which millions of people do. Yes. Um, and you're at Ralph's, Publix, Trader Joe's, wherever. 
you see Lamorne, mm -hmm. you're going to get starstruck because what the yeah. fuck is he doing here? Out of place. <laughs> like, it's just out of place. Like, that, I think that's when starstruckness happens. So I was at the Bob, Bob Hope. Is that what it's called? The Burbank Airport? Bob, yeah, Hope? Bob Hope. I was at Bob Hope. And I'm just walking, walking down the uh, the terminal, and I see Mario Lopez leant on a pillar. Mm. I was like, oh. I was, and nobody was talking to him. I was like, what? I didn't think it was real. So I went up to him. I was like, hey man, oh, and I was shaking. I was like, do you mind if I get a picture? Like, when am I ever gonna see Mario Lopez in yeah. real life? Mm. Yeah, starstruck. That, when was this? Was this before or after your success? This was 2000. 15. Wow. So you were you were fairly successful at that point. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty that's, successful. That's crazy because you don't really see people leaning on pillars that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. they be putting them crack needles yeah, in Yeah, the them. needles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you want to yeah. stay away from that. Yeah. yeah. What about you, man? Have anyone kind of left you like, oh. Um, when, because it, it was unexpected too. It Besides was, uh, me when we met. <laughs> we, yeah. When did we meet? I can't remember. We met at a club. Yeah. Some no. Some guy invited me to a club and then thought he he wanted me, he wanted he tried he intentionally sat me next to you. Yeah. Because he was like, oh, celebrities or whatever it is. <laughs> and it was like paired him up. It was like you gotta you gotta <laughs> gotta put the celebrities by celebrities. You gotta know you gotta. It. And I was just like, oh, okay, cool. But yeah. I I knew you before Vine. Yeah, you knew me before Batch. Yeah. yeah. We met first. Ha! Damn. But, but I couldn't seal the deal on best friendship. Oh. <laughs> oh damn it. So uh, you you were saying? Um, yeah. So I went to a karaoke. I, I think it was called Goals. Gold. Gold bar. The bar in Hollywood. Do you remember this one? It, it was on um, where was Third Street? I think. Goal. Yeah, Goal. Yeah, Goal. Goal. Is it still there? No, no, it's not there anymore. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a sports bar. They do karaoke nights, I believe. Yeah, and yeah. you know how small it is. Mm -hmm. So I think that you can fit like thirty people in there. Yeah, probably, and it's crowded because mm -hmm. they had like certain like booths on booths, the side yeah. and like the middle and then i went there and then right in front of me was this guy in a like a suit like dressed really nice with his hair done and this was in like 2011 probably. yeah people don't do that anymore. that's rare too yeah yeah. yeah yeah so that was already a mm -hmm. thing and had a big cigar and i was like huh. oh. and then it was leo no <laughs> what yeah he owned that bar he did? Yeah. Oh, that that's makes bar. sense. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know Gold that. Gold is his bar, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one yeah. in West Hollywood? No. No, third, yeah, on Third Street. He's got yeah. another one. In, yeah. Uh, I think Roger Room he owns as well. Yeah. It's right down the street. Because it's different him. when you see him like at a club mm. or whatever, but when it's like a like an intimate like mm -hmm. lounge kind yeah. of scene. That was Gold, mm. that was a fun place. Yeah. Um, Robbie sold Carmelo Anthony weed at Gold before. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Joey did. Sorry, Joey sold Carmelo oh, really? Anthony weed. Mm -hmm. Really? Cool. Is that? Yeah. Are you allowed to say that? What? That you, you sold have... someone drugs? It's, it's fake weed. Now. What year was it? <laughs> yes. When it was legal. What year? Was it? <laughs> Hello. We, we, <laughs> we can cut that. We can cut I have that. a new case for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm holding up my end of the bargain, mark, like though. I said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you wearing a wire right now, Ben? <laughs> He's like, Don't wear it. I've been wearing a wire <laughs> in Dude, plain sight. I knew it ever since he came in with the mayonnaise-colored shirt on. Whoa! Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what? What about you? Uh, Star Trek. We kind of talked about this, but seeing Vin Diesel was weird. That uh -huh. was a weird one. On his movie set? No, uh, on, on the Sony lot. Yeah. We saw him. Kind of. We were still doing ADR. So. Yeah, and then seeing Adam Sandler was was kind of strange, too. Yeah. Because that's a Because you're Jewish. Right? See, and he's like your hero? Seeing another uh, Jewish person in Hollywood was shocking to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he like your hero hero? Uh, I, he's definitely one of them for sure. Yeah. Definitely one of them for sure. I mean, I've seen every single movie, you know, the SNL skits, obviously, mm -hmm. but seeing someone like him in person was just strange. Yeah. And then seeing him work and like do comedy was even like weirder. Oh, you went to a show? No, I went, I was in Video Village on set when he did Sandy Wexler with him. Yeah. 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 I remember that. Yeah. I was, still, I never get over, if I, if I, if I work with somebody iconic, there is not a day that goes by that I'm in that person's presence that I'm not like a little starstruck. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Jaleel White, obviously Family Matters. He's been one of the, one of the greatest TV characters of all time, right? Him, he's one of my best friends. 
every time he's speaking to me, it still registers to me. It's like, Jesus Christ, this man is a friend of mine. Mm. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. I, it never gets old to me because yeah. people are so skilled and talented at what they do. And in, in, in 100 years, we will still talk about those performances. You know mm. what I mean? And that never goes away with me. Um, what is the biggest animal you could beat up with your bare hands? A bear. You think you could fuck up, like, fuck up a bear? Is the bear on cocaine or not on cocaine? Ooh. It's not on cocaine, but it is disabled. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disabled bear? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you think I would fight a regular bear? It's from a zoo. Yeah, it's a handicapable bear. Yeah, bro. it's a handicapped bear. <laughs> um, he can barely walk. He can barely run. Oh. <laughs> he can crying. barely fight. <laughs> yeah, and sad. I am whooping his ass. I'll wait. No. Fuck. What about you? <laughs> what animal? Uh, how big? I don't like the question. Don't say um, puppy or cat because they're going to come no. after you. No, she's All right, a, one that I could be. She's beat an up. animal activist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Petunia. no, no, but it's, it's, but it's a question, uh, like a hypothetical. hypothetical. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like asking like who you would kill first. Like you're not really going to kill him. Well, hold on. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know. <laughs> um, realistically? Yeah. Uh, but hypothetically, yeah, yes, hypothetically, yeah. <laughs> uh, Peta. Sorry, yeah. Are you wearing a wire? <laughs> <laughs> pulls out a six. The pack. biggest animal anybody can kill with your bare hands. Your bare hands, yeah, bare yeah. hands. No, what were you about to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're about to say cheetah for some. I saw like a ch coming uh, out. Yeah, the biggest though. Look, she got her fist balled up. Look at that. She's ready. <laughs> A giraffe. No a giraffe. way. Dude, How are you gonna kill a giraffe? A giraffe's gonna kick you in Bro, two seconds. Long neck. Hop on the back. <laughs> climb up the neck. And slice, slice the throat. Hey, you gotta put a clip of a giraffe. Mm. Kicking Going nuts. Life. Yeah, yeah. They go crazy. This is painful. Slice the throat. This is gonna mess up my algorithm. I've been working so hard <laughs> to get these like horrific animal things off my algorithm. You think it's listening? Mm. For sure. I, right when we leave, I'm gonna yeah. get Ooh, all of that. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think you could kill, Larry? Me. Like like easily or just put some work into it? No, nah, you got to fight. No. It's got to be yeah, a yeah. fight. I got to fight. I got to fight. Six you can't rounds. take mine. Six rounds. I'm not going to take yours because I know what I already know because I plan on it one day. <laughs> no. I plan on it one day. Mountain lion. Oh. Oh. Ah, what's your strategy? What's my strategy? Face to face. Head up. He don't know which way to turn. I don't know which way to turn. We're in the shadows. We're fighting in the dark. What I don't realize about this animal is that he's nocturnal. So I train. I study for years. Years years in the dark blindfolded now i'm more skilled than he why because now for the past five years i've been living in the dark and every once in a while a mountain lion get caught in the daylight and everybody's like that's confused maybe snatching up little babies and shit me i've been living in the shadows so now we fight to, we fight in his own home turf right chatsworth or you, the mountain lions be over there all the time, like yeah, yeah, yeah. right behind Day Storm's house, mm -hmm. you know. And then all of a sudden, the mountain lions show up at night. Maybe I'm a little drunk, leaving a Day Storm party, right? <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> then the mountain lions show up, ready for a killing, ready to hunt. He don't realize he's the hunted. <laughs> so, then I show up right behind him, and then I, you know, I let him have it. I let him know who who's dominant here. Right. I don't kill him. I let him live. Why would you let him live? I let him, so he can know he can go back and tell his friends what happened here. He's going to tell his friends to come back and get you. <laughs> <laughs> then you're out. No, but then it's, then it's uh, you getting jumped. <laughs> so we have, um, so usually we're, we're used to having a threesome on this podcast. Mm -hmm. We have one guest that we speak to today uh, because you two are so joined at the hip. We have uh, a foursome here. Our first. Our first yeah! foursome. Our first oh, foursome. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, are, are we, how many episodes have you done? Two. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. We've done, uh, we've got five, six, seven. Five, yeah, six, seven, eight, nice. 19. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Yeah, first seven, foursome here. Um, so, and, and you, you two are like, you're like siblings in a way. So we want to play a, a, a little how well do you know your best friend? How well do you know your sibling type mm. game? So we have a few questions here to see if you two have the answer. First question. But how do you do that? If you're best friends, you got to know everything about each other. I know, every, you know what like, I'm saying, but how do, you, how do you know if we're lying or not? No, no, no. I don't, I don't know. Are you, you like, is it the thing you go one, lying. two, three, and we answer at the same time? No, 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 no. Just, you know. You ask, I'll Can ask write a question. write it on a piece of paper? No, this is simple. It's just a conversational thing. You know what I mean? Batch, what is Amanda's favorite color? Is it 
pink? Mm-hmm. Yeah! Fucking liar. No, it is. It's actually like I have a whole room in my house. It's just like, it's not like disgustingly pink. Mm-hmm. It's mauve. Mauve. Yeah. Oh. It's really nice. Fuck is I don't mauve. even know how to spell it. I, well, yeah, what? M A U V E? Yeah, it's like um dusty, kind of like pink. That's not my favorite color. Are like, you wearing mauve in your, or is that lavender? What is that? This is, I think this is nude. Nude. Okay. Nude. So you're going nude uh, on the head. Yes, it's pink. Pink. Okay, what's Batch's favorite color? Ah, y'all ain't friends. It's not green. It lie. is green. Is it really? I got a room in my house, green. <laughs> <laughs> my, favorite, but my favorite color is green because of Jim Carrey. It's his favorite color. Uh, Jim Carrey, I, I used to love him. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, well, that's that, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We, 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 we. What? We know everything. Colors? Yeah. Oh. You, what we were just saying on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Boom. You both have the same favorite color? Wow. Yeah. I guess so. No. Aquamarine? Aquamarine? Is that Marine. that? What's aquamarine? It's a little marine. A little aqua. <laughs> <You guys laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is emerald. That's emerald green right there. Least fate. Well, this one's a little risque. Answer it if you want to. Amanda, what is Batch's least favorite sexual position? No. <laughs> how would she know? Yeah, you guys talk about everything. I, we talk about, I know, we know each other's least favorite. Yeah. Uh, probably um, doing it in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. That's what I was. Well, she say. was supposed to answer that I for you, but thank that. you for telling <laughs> us that. Was, was, he, doesn't, he doesn't like it there. How, how yeah. many times have you done that though? <laughs> no, you don't like it. Um, I would say seven or eight, and after the seventh time, I was just like, Maybe, "This uh, might not be for that me." That was his yeah. worst date. <laughs> this actually, worst like, date. on his eighth time, I don't know if I like it. A little, a little pegging never hurt no king batch. <laughs> no, I've never done that. Never done that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's not for you, man. It's not for you. Listen, some people do though. <laughs> yeah, it's a very common thing. Have you ever tried it? No, 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 no. Have no, you no, ever no. tried it? No. Now, if Zoe Kravitz showed up and was like, I'm going to peg you, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Then I got to go, hold on, who am I really? You know what I mean? I got to question myself. Um, That's my I, favorite position. Questioning yourself? What? Pegging. Pegging? Pegging. Mm. Love it. That's, she likes to be dominant. Yeah. And you, well, you know. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Parents' names. Um, oh. Damn. Ooh, damn. Ingrid? Yes. Yeah. That's his mom, Ingrid? Ingrid, yeah. And his dad? Byron? Yes. yes. Oh, Batch don't yeah. know this for uh, shit. Look, he don't here. know. Uh-oh, Batch. I'll with... give you a hint, Batch. It starts oh, no, with a letter and it ends with bad. a letter. Oh, no, don't. I'm send this clip to I my just, mom. I just call her mama. <laughs> 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 she got the karate studio. Can't rent your way out I'm of this I'm trying to see one, her Batch. Instagram name. <laughs> mm, what letter? This is bad. What letter? You're buying lunch. What That's letter? Crazy. Give me the letter. I thought you guys were. I'm bad with names in, in general. You don't even know your own name. That's why you put King in front. <laughs> <laughs> what letter? A. Imagine it's Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> it's really um, easy. Um, it's Anne. It's not Alice. It's okay. It's a hard one. Is it? No. no it's it's Anne. Three letters. Oh, it's Anna. No. Ale. Aoli? Aoli. 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 I can't remember. Well, we're giving him the Amy. countdown. Three. Two. Yeah, I would have never what? guessed that. Amy, bro. You shouldn't have to guess. I would have never guessed that. Y'all not, <laughs> y'all <laughs> not friends. What? Because I don't, I don't know your mom and dad's names. Oh, yeah, geez, I got. I'm starting. I know your your okay, dad's Byron. Okay. Yeah, your mom's yeah y'all came to Jamaica. <laughs> What's my sister's name? Samantha. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we we know Samantha. We know Samantha. Okay. Do you have each other's Phone numbers oh, memorized. No. Mm-hmm. no. Damn. She knows my phone password. I know where he is at all times. You know the password? Yeah, she knows my phone password. Oh, man. The hidden folder. She the only one. The hidden folder must be No crazy. one else even knows. <laughs> <laughs> my sister don't even know. <laughs> oh. I feel like everybody knows my phone password at this point. Oh, really? What is it? I'm not going to tell the world. Oh. What if some strange young person w- walks in my house? I guess. <laughs> Someone did just walk in your house. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is that know. an alert? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> or a bird. I have um, a ghost hunting machine here. I know it starts with a <laughs> Right? No. <laughs> I just <have> to guess. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. Uh, well, you, yeah, that's not, you don't have to say the number a lot because right, clearly that. Would, oh, so it doesn't start with. Oh, shit. You got to edit that out. I think yeah. that one's fine. There's a lot of <laughs> numbers. For Mr. Yeah, but then yeah. if it's like posted Pitbull. online and then they confirm it with the. Yeah, we did. We had to. We did these prank wars back in the day. And then uh, I think she leaked my number and then yeah. I leaked your address. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a big leap. Yeah. <laughs> Too far, man. Yeah. Too, yeah. yeah. Too far, dude. Too far. Yeah, it, it got it got intense. Oh, I hid pot so pies bad. around his room and left them there for months. Yeah. I yeah. went in and like the smell. Yeah, I didn't fight it for months later. Yeah. What? I was like, my room smells. I, I, hired, I hired some people from Home Depot to come through and clean. <laughs> and they couldn't find it. I didn't rent them. I hired them. I paid them good money. You're the one who has video proof of it. I, oh my God. And then um, and then yeah, I finally like I think I was like looking for some random shoes one day and I looked under there and I saw this mold filled pot pie. Mm, they smell bad. And I was Jeez. like, Amanda. <laughs> and she's like, you just now found that? I put that there months ago. <laughs> Damn. Three of them. I love that, that's that both, both your pranks could have led to both of you dying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I did that to I did that to our buddy Dom once. I was on, uh, I, was, I was streaming live or something. And I said, hey, everybody out there. I was like, look. I've been looking to change my ways. I'm 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 been looking to to really dive into what being what a man feels like, and I and I want everybody to to text me pictures of your. Uh, <laughs> I said text me pictures of your dick. Here is my number, and I gave Dom's number. Oh. <laughs> and, and so for the next few hours, he was getting just nothing but dongs in his text, but and he was at the time was sitting with his girlfriend. And he's just getting all these dudes sending him dick pics. And he was like, I I, baby, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I swear this never happens. Oh, my That's God. Good. Dong, 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 dong. A lot, a lot of dicks. So that, I, I did that once and it was bad. He put, um, uh, what was that? Like, what is the foam filler stuff in packages? Oh, yeah. those. And then like confetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In my car, AC vents. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the? F yeah. I'm him. It never, it never came out. It never. <laughs> it just really fucked up my engine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a whole new car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We filmed uh, all of them though. Uh, okay. all Fun YouTube. times, guys. <laughs> Didn't we do something where it covered the whole outside of your car too? I think so. I don't know. Uh, a lot. That's aggressive. Yeah. Um, what was the other person's nickname in high school? Nickname. Yeah. Did Did you have a nickname in high school? King Batch. That was your high school nickname? Yeah, Batch. I mean, yeah, they called me Batch. Mine was... Well, well, do you know hers? I, Ma Mandy? I never even told Mandy, you this. Pandy, Landy? No, <laughs> nobody ever called me Mandy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had one. It's a what great was it? Nick Cage movie, by the way. <laughs> Mandy, Share with the class. great Nick Cage movie. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Um, well, it was my sister's old uh, email. Mm-hmm. And this is when MySpace was a thing. Ooh. And I made the beginning of her email my name on MySpace. Well, which was what? Sweet Kisses. You were sweet. And everybody used to they, they called me SK in high school. And then all the senior class, because I was a freshman, uh, did a photo making fun of my pose on my. Uh, <laughs> oh, your MySpace? Oh. <laughs> it was like this. I don't even know what that is. And, and then sweet those kisses. Are sweet kisses. and that was the senior class photo for the seniors and the juniors. Oh, oh wow. my God. Sweet kisses. That's internet famous. Guys. What was your nickname in high school? King Dingaling. No. Nah. King Dingaling. That's, that's no. Uh mine in high school, my nickname it, it was, I didn't have one actually. I think it was just L. People used to call me L because they didn't want to say Lamorne because they kept saying it wrong. You can't say that now. Yeah. L, L means something totally different. Loser? What does it mean? Yeah, loser. <laughs> What? No, but it's like the new slang. It's like oh, you took an you're, L. You're an L. Oh, oh. it's like saying yeah. sucker. But, but <laughs> <laughs> I think they were sucker in high school. But sucker. hasn't that always been a thing? Yeah, you, you people used to do this all the time, which was real. Yeah, but I thought it was because because it was my name, so I thought I was real cool. <laughs> yeah. I walked down the hallway, people would be like this, and I'd yeah. be like, "That's what's up?" Because <laughs> I had my goggles on, and I twist my goggles to the side. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was a, I was, at the, and in retrospect, now that I look back at it, I was indeed a loser. Mm. No, dude, you weren't a loser. It was just an L for love. <laughs> it could have been love. It could have been love. I don't think it was love. What? Well, you know. 
thick skin. So far, it's been great, you guys. Um, Minus my mom. I have I have a parting gift for you guys. These? No, no. These are our, our uh, awards Damn. that we have uh, procured <laughs> over our yep. illustrious career. But uh, I have a parting gift for you guys. You guys can, well, you have to share it. And you have to, uh, when you share it, you have to make sure you use it in your daily lives. You can like, you know, if you see each other, you can pass it back on to Batch. And then when you're in town, you can pass it back on. Would you, would you guys like to see it? I'd love it to see it. This sounds like a setup. It's not a setup. It's right, a gift, yeah. but you have to take it and you have to use it. Oh, see, now that's a setup. I have to. <laughs> you have to. Have to use it. You have to use it. Are you, are you willing to accept Let this Let me gift? see his face. Do you think I should accept this gift? No. Damn. <laughs> All right. It's not, it's not bad. Let's it's do a confusing it. answer. Okay, hold on. Let me go get it. Hold on one second. Yeah. It better not be I'll a strap it. on. Bachelor, you're doing you've been doing way more stand up, I've mm-hmm. noticed. Are you having a good time doing that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait, you say way more. No, I just feel like I recently like you're doing a ton of stand up. Oh yeah. Well I've always done oh nice. I've always done, I just never posted about it. You're giving us this? Is that is that Dwayne Wade? There's a painting of me. That's you? It looks like Dwayne Wade. Because he has a beard, not on the beard anymore. Ah. Uh. It looks like people, people used to always say, you look like Dwayne Wade. Is this for us for real? This is for you guys. You, you have to have it right above your bed. Your bed. <laughs> the trick, the thing about this is that because you've already agreed to do it and, and fans don't like liars, so you, you've, since you've agreed to do it, you have to hang this above your bed and it has to be video proof. Every single time you post something for the next 11 years... It has to be in your bedrooms, right over your bed. Well, let me just say one thing. Um, It won't fit over my bed. Because your bed's so small? (laughs) What is it? No, because my bed's so big. You have like a high I have a high thing. It touches the ceiling. I have a lot of space for it. Um, I just have to talk to Johannes about it. He's a, he, I've met him before. Nice guy. Very nice guy. Very understanding. Yeah, it's just true. I don't think. He's going to want to see Dwayne Wade above his head every That's day. That's not Dwayne Wade. Also, my color scheme of the room is blue. Ooh. There's, there's some blue in there. He said it's not Dwayne Wade. Look, it literally says D right there. <laughs> no, it's the artist. That's, oh. that's, that is... It was painted by Dwayne Wade. Yeah, that's a, that's a Dwayne Wade it's original. Dwayne Wade. This is dope. Doing painting Who did this? Uh, Reluctant Hobo. Huh? Reluctant Hobo. On IG. On IG. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, dope, dope artist out of uh, Austin. He does Texas. everybody. Yeah, he's got. He Can made he one do for LeBron James for you? He made one for Day, Day Storm. He made one for Wes. I think he made one for Splat. I forget who. And you're else giving yours away. I'm, I'm giving it away to <laughs> two world class entertainers. Yeah. Does it not match the aesthetic? Of no, your no, house? it does. It's just I just <laughs> tried to figure out a gift to give you guys that would be the most embarrassing. Oh, this is this was it. <laughs> you? This is it. This is it. Where where can we catch can you we? Uh, doing stand up at? Where's what's coming up? Kingbatch.com, baby. Yeah. Kingbatch.com. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Amanda Cerny, King Batch, thank you very much. <laughs>